What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more live Pokemon Showdown stuff. This has really been doing well. A lot of you guys like it, but I do understand that a lot of you guys also want Wi-Fi battles. So I am actually in the process of making this team on my Wi-Fi card, on my actual card of X and Y. So expect some Wi-Fi battles soon and expect them against interesting, um, interesting opponents soon because I'm going to be doing some really cool stuff with the Wi-Fi battles, you know? Like I still want that to be a staple of this channel. Right now I'm just hammering out these showdowns because they're easy to edit and they're going to help me put in filler content while I prepare the real stuff, you know what I mean? So, um, don't get disheartened if this isn't what you want to watch, you know? Attack on Titan people, hold on, I'm almost done with the presets for that, and my Wi-Fi battle people, trust me, I'm going to get on top of that shit as soon as possible. But um, for now, we're going to look for some more showdown battles, so without further ado, man, we're using the same team, I just want to see how far we can go. We haven't lost a battle yet, so um, I'm feeling good about this. Let's do it, man. Let's look, for, let's look for a match, let's see what we can pull off here. I'm gonna close this and um, okay so now he's gonna he's most likely going to leave with his Rotom Wash or his Infernape either or it could be a lead in fact maybe his Staraptor could be a lead too but then again what would I mean I don't know people don't play bird Pokemon like that I mean flying Pokemon like that you know well sometimes Stealth Rocker I see Infernape so I mean it might just be better to go into Blastoise here if he goes into his Rotom Wash then That'll suck, but I mean, we can manage. We can just switch out into maybe Chestnut or something. If he decides to both switch out, he wouldn't want a Willow with a Blastoise with Rotom Wash. And even if he does stay in there with Rotom Wash and we have Blastoise in there, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't want to keep. I wouldn't want to keep um, Blastoise. In there. So okay, so he has Bla so he has his um his Gardevoir now. This thing has special defense. I know it does. So it's probably not good for me to stay in there. I'm not, it might be better to just go into Embor, but then again, if he hits me with the Fairy move or Psychic move, yeah, there's no way. No way, we can't switch Embor in there. So um, we're gonna just have to stay in with Blastoise. Let's go for the Water Spout and hope this guy doesn't attack me. Hyper Voice? Shit! That was a bad move, man. That was a bad move. Uh, okay, alright. This is going to Whimsicott. I should have done that from the beginning. You know what? Dumb plays on my part. That was stupid, but Blastoise is still usable if you manage to get our Sticky Web up. He can outspeed a lot of this shit, except for the Rotom Wash, of course. That'll be a problem. This guy, he's playing smart. Let's start the timer so we can, you know, we can force him to make a decision, you know? And people are rushing you, you know? You got two minutes to make a decision before you are mad to lose. So, you know, you don't have to act like, you know, the person's going to take forever on the other side of things. Let's see. Well, um, Mumsicott was probably the best move for me to make. Wow, this thing. Damn, that thing does damage. Oh. Fuck it, Leech Seed him. Hyper Voice, man. Damn, Pixelate Gardevoir. That thing is a problem, man. Alright, let's go in there with, um... What's the speed of Gardevoir? Let's just go in there with Galvantula. That's the only thing I think we have with this guy right now. So, let's just go for a solid Thunder. Hit him really, really hard. Yeah, a solid Thunder to me seems like the best choice. Nothing wants to switch in on that. Absolutely nothing. So he's probably going to just stay in there with Oh, wow. This is it. Okay. And he's going to get hit really hard with that. And he's paralyzed. Okay, no problem, you know? And I'm not really worried about the accuracy since, you know, compound eyes is a thing. So, yeah, eventually will be able to clean up. Like I said, nobody wants to switch in on the Thunder from this thing. He doesn't have any um, immunities and no resistances except for Rotom Wash, I guess, maybe. But, I mean, it's not, it doesn't really resist it. It's just neutral. He's going to lose his Togekiss. That's great. So he lost his Togekiss foolishly in exchange for me losing my um, Whimsicott foolishly. But because of Blastoise taking the extra damage, my Water Spout is now useless. And I know everyone's going to say, put um, Water Pulse instead of Water Spout or have Water Pulse as a backup. I don't want to. I want Water Spout, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> Alright, so he has his Infernape in there now. Most likely, he thinks he can outspeed me. He's probably going to go for a Fire Man. So let's. I don't want to. I don't want to give him the impression that I'm. Uh, I don't want to give him the impression that I'm locked in yet. I don't want to, because naturally Alvantula outspeeds um, Gardevoir and Togekiss, unless they were either scarfed in the way of their own. But I, I highly doubt that. Let's just give him Embor for now. I think that's the best thing that we can do right now. It's foolish, but. I don't want anyone else taking a fire move on this team. Blastoise, I don't know, how useful can Blastoise really be here, you know? I don't know if Blastoise's usability is good anymore. I highly doubt it. 
Yeah, I highly doubt it. At least if he takes Flare Blitz damage, then, you know, he'll be able to... Uh, do we need Embor? Do we need Embor? Yeah, we need Embor. Because he doesn't really have priority on his team except for Mach Punch on Infernate, most likely. So, if I do have Embor alive, I can still use priority and hit something really, really hard before it goes down. So, yeah, let's just go into Blastoise. I'm pretty much, I pretty much expired you, Blastoise. I'm extremely sorry. I played really foolishly with this guy, and I, I'm the one that caused him to lose what he has right now. So, I'll have to deal. Just go for an Aura Sphere. Probably hit something. Real quick. Okay. Yeah, it's all my fault, so... All right, so now we know what this guy has. He he has um. Hmm, what item does this guy? Have? Do you think he has? Uh, do you think he has focus edge? I don't know. I mean, let me see. Does he have it? Uh, I don't see. I don't think he has a focus edge. I mean, it wouldn't matter at this point, anyways. But will a thunder be able to kill this guy? That's the question. Will my missile line be able to live a close combat? That's the question. You know what? I'm not liking this too much, so let's go into Embor. No, I, will I be able to live an Earthquake from this guy? I don't know. I doubt it. I really, really doubt it. Uh, this is such a tough decision to make. Okay. Okay, let's just go into... Ah, this is so difficult. I played so dumb with Blastoise. All right, we're going to go in there with Embor. This might not be the best move. Maybe will a Thunder from Galvantula be able to kill Infernape? I doubt it. I really highly doubt it. But fuck it, it's the only thing that we have at this point. Let's just hit Infernape really hard. We're gonna threaten this guy out again. Hopefully he switches. Nope, it wasn't able to kill him. Of course it wasn't. But at least he dies from the recoil, so you know. But still, I do not like the fact that I just gave him my freaking Galvantula. We'd have no Trick Room now. We have no Sticky Web now. Things are kind of ugly at the point. At this point. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's go into Mammal Swarm. Okay. Cool. He's going to intimidate me, but I don't think that matters too much because the Ash Shards are still going to deal a hell of a lot of damage to this guy. Um, Ice Shard, yeah. Just to, let's just see if he has the balls to stay in on Mammoth Swarm. I mean, because of course if he has the Intimidate, but I mean, he's going to go straight for the Brave Bird. It's going to do a lot, but it's not going to um, kill me at all. And now we can just go for an Ice Shard and finish him off. We might just go into Rodon, but... No, 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 he's gonna keep his, he's gonna keep his Staraptor alive, man. He's gonna keep this thing alive because he knows he needs it. But if I lose Mammoth Swine at this point, then it's pretty much over. So I need to stop playing Reckless. Just go for another Ice Shard. I figured, I mean, I, I just wanted to play safe because I didn't, if, if I lose Mammoth Swine, then I have nothing. So I'm just now going to go for Chestnut and hope it can not get burned by this guy. Will-O-Wisp coming in. Oh, dodged it, baby. I dodged it. All right. Now, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. He's probably going to try to go for another Will-O-Wisp. I mean, it's pretty damn obvious, but I can't go into Embor because he's going to get hit with the Hydro Pump. So, you know, at this point, all I have to do is stay in there with Chestnut and hope that I can KO this guy with the Wood Hammer. Let's go for the... You know what? Let's go for the Bulk Up because he's going to try to burn us, of course. Yeah, let's go for the bulk up, because if he tries to burn us, at least we'll have a boost. And then we, and when he's, he's going to bring a Star Raptor in, of course, most likely. Of course he's going to bring a Star Raptor. So maybe we should just go for the straight up wood hammer. Okay, so we, of course he got the burn on us. And um, there we go. That's good. That's very good. And now, probably Star Raptor is going to come in. Let's just go for the hammer arm, just to, you know what? Let's just go for the hammer arm. Yeah, I don't, because I, I feel like is going to come in at any point. He knows I'm going to go for another wood hammer. So, of course, knowing that, he's going to go into maybe something to be... Oh, come on! Why the why the hammer arm's not hitting anything? Oh, man. Okay, okay. Let's just go for the bulk up now. Maybe he doesn't have anything that he can hit a super effective. Maybe he doesn't. You know what? Tough, it's tough, it's tough, it's tough. <laughs> um, maybe we should go for the hammer arm. Oh man, okay. Go for the hammer arm, fuck it. Hit him super effective. No, 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 Go for the bulk. No, no, hammer arm, get damage, get damage. Oh, 
Okay, hit this guy. Okay, so we lost some speed there. But at this point now, I don't know if anyone wants to come in. Let's go for a wood hammer, just because. I should have seen Waterfall coming in, but I don't really mind too much because won't the Ice Shard be able to do a lot of damage? The Ice Shard on top of the, um, the Ice Shard on top of the, um, Sucker Punch should be able to do a lot of damage to Gardevoir. Hmm. What will it be? Does Gard does Mammal Swine outspeed Gardevoir? But then again, Gardevoir most likely have max speed, so there's no point in me even trying to free damage. Okay, you know what? Let's go straight into Mammo. And we're gonna go for the Ice Shard here. Do some solid damage. Load on um, Wash, of course. And um, he has a Citrus Berry too? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, let's just hit something with the superpower then. Fuck it. Shit, man. Alright, and we got M board finally. Of course, I'm probably not going to live whatever this Rodon wants to do. So, you know, let's just go for a Sucker Punch. Maybe he thinks I'm like scarfed or something. Maybe we can like bake him out in that sense. Probably not though. Of course, he's probably just gonna go for the safe Hydro Pump. But if that's the case, Hopefully the Sucker Punch will be able to finish it. I mean, of course it won't. It's a Rotom Wash. These things are bulky, man. They have, like, no HP, but they're really bulky. Um, there we go. Yeah, okay, that's it. Critical hit, too? Totally necessary there. All right, that was a dumb game. Never play as stupid as I did in that game just now. That was a lesson on how not to play Pokemon. That was dumb. Hopefully we can redeem ourselves. First loss, and it was an ugly one. Oh, man, our ranking dropped down to 1394, so... We, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna try again. We're gonna try to redeem ourselves in the next game. That was straight up stupidity that lost me that game.